All right, so I'll be talking about um, choking under pressure. And to put this in a little bit of perspective, um, just imagine that you're coaching a basketball team and your best player has been killing it all game. They have 30 points, and it's now the fourth quarter. There's 10 seconds left, and your team's down by one. And you call a timeout to drop a play because you really need a bucket from this guy. And during the timeout, he's super anxious and nervous and doesn't really know how to act. And then uh, you break the huddle and um, execute the play flawlessly. And then he gets up the shot, and it's just something crazy, and he misses it. This would be choking under pressure. So choking under pressure occurs when perceived stress or pressure results in the suboptimal performance of an action or task that under standard conditions um, is performed at a higher skill level or with greater success. And we can credit that definition to Gottlieb in 2015. So in plain words, um, choking under pressure is when a stressful situation affects a person so much um, that the performance is decreased as a result of heightened or lowered arousal um, and nervousness. So in order to understand choking under pressure, we have to understand what pressure is and why that pressure could result in something that is not familiar or um, consistent with past experience and execution. Um, so pressure can be created by high rewards for completion um, or the threat of severe punishment if unable to properly finish the task. Um, other factors needed to bring needing to bring into consideration um, would be the importance of success. So this could be um, game one of the NBA regular season versus game seven of the NBA finals. Um, there's a lot more importance into who wins um, game one of regular season versus uh, game seven of the finals. Um, and in some cases, performing under pressure is the most important part of the process um, of sport that one is going through, so it's important to be able to learn how to perform um, this way. Um, choking under pressure is uh, linked to over or under arousal, which relates to the inverted U um, hypothesis that the optimal level of arousal is not too much, but also not too level, or not also not too much, too little um, amount of arousal. So there are many reasons for choking under pressure, and one of the biggest uh, being that people are trying too hard to exert control and particularity in the steps that they need to accomplish. Um, so they're doing this in an effort to be more careful and um, just more particular in what they're doing in such a high stakes situation. Um, but actually, attention to performance at such a specific level um, will actually disrupt the automated high level skills. So. Um, you're so used to practicing your jump shot every day, it becomes muscle memory, you just do it like normal, but as soon as you start thinking about it in these high pressure situations is when um, that, that jump shot turns, turns different. And we can credit that research to, to Baylock in 2004. Um, and there's also um, evidence that shows that your perspective and the way you think uh, on the situation may um, impact how bad or good you perform. So uh, if you were loss averse, which means that you dislike losing more than you like winning, uh, then your chances of choking are actually lower. But um, for people who like winning more than they um, hate losing, then choking is more likely in that situation. So um, in conclusion, excuse me, it is actually, it's hard to emulate these high pressure um, situations. So um, the best way to practice for these is to just practice like normal and then um, the best way to simulate these situations is just go go out into these high pressure situations and just uh, act, act like normal. Um, so in, in conclusion, um, choking under pr pressure is a real phenomenon that's caused by increased arousal which affects performance in any negative way in which it would otherwise be without um, the added pressure. Uh, being over particular rather than um, just letting your body and mind take over are the main culprit reason for someone choking under pressure. And some people respond to pressure differently um, than others, and in some cases they have more of a less uh, chance of experience experiencing a choke under a high pressure um, situation. So emulating these situations is tough, but um, it's also very uh, beneficial because it is such an integral part into uh, performance. So I think my question, um, to my peers would be, uh, what do you think the best way to prepare for a high pressure situation would be? Thank you for listening.